Age-associated diseases like Huntington's, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, ALS, they all involve a self-perpetuating aggregated state of a specific protein. We wanted to figure out how that aggregated state first starts. Once that protein starts to aggregate, it keeps on aggregating. It's kind of like if you were to strike a match in a dry forest. And once the fire gets going, it's really, really hard to put out. What my lab has tried to do is to figure out how the match first strikes. What is the spark that lights the fire? And if we can figure that out, then perhaps we can come up with some sort of treatment against these diseases. So we focused on Huntington's disease. The proteins that cause Huntington's and other diseases have what's called poly-Q. What we ended up finding was that the spark that starts Huntington's disease, in fact, begins in a single molecule of the protein. Not only did we discover this really surprising uh, finding, but we also found exactly what the structure of that molecule is when it starts that spark. Even though these diseases are caused by aggregation, we found that if you preemptively aggregate the protein, it stops it from forming the kind of aggregate that will go on and kill the cells. And so now that we've uh, demonstrated that we can figure this out for this one example, um, the hope is that we'll be able to do exactly the same thing for the proteins that are responsible for ALS, for Alzheimer's, for Parkinson's. This is a very satisfying discovery for me personally and for my lab because we've been almost single-mindedly trying to figure out this nuclear structure for, for six years solid and more than a decade in total. Um, and now we finally found it. Thank mm -hmm. you.